Ah, welcome back. You find me today in the workshop and today I am putting several padlocks through their paces. As you can see, they are very easy to cut through. I am working my way through a small pile. This one is particularly poor and this was on a motorbike or a bicycle lock. Now, the trouble with most padlocks, this can be picked with a comb pick, is however strong and clever these things are, and however weak I am, with the right bolt cutters, you are going to be able to cut through these with some ease, or not, every single time. And I'm really struggling. Okay, this might, this might prove my point wrong. Yeah, come on. Okay, so this one I can't seem to cut through, but I could pick this in about 20 seconds with a comb pick. So we will put him there. Let us try another one. Okay, back in step, there we are. So another one, cut through. Standard brass padlock, very easy to pick. But unfortunately, a suggested hardened shackle This is proving harder than I expected, but I'm only small and I'm as not as strong as 90% of the people out there. So, I can't cut through this either. surprisingly hard to get through but me in my five feet two and nine stone stature can still cut through it right these obviously little luggage locks are an absolute complete waste of time there we are absolutely pointless cut through it twice another one not even going to cut that one cut through it twice this one the last one we will go to for a minute This is a master. This is easy to pick. Oh, Jesus. And surprisingly hard to cut, but these are all very cuttable. Oh, if you've got more strength than a 12 year old girl. Oh, ah. okay. So, this is proving quite tricky to cut through, but. This is a master, everyone knows masters, you can pick through in about 20 seconds. This one I have done a previous video, so please look it up. And although I was unable to cut through the shackle, which was surprising, yet impressive, this style of lock, as you can see, comb pick. My box is in the castle where I get it, but I have picked it in about three seconds, which you can view on another video, which I did for somebody. This one, obviously very low security, this would go on your luggage this one we cut through this one we cut through this one we cut through this can be picked this as well this i've done on another video it's got a tiny little piece of metal in the middle and then a layer of plastic and a layer of material that looks like carbon fiber but is designed to look like carbon fiber so you think it's thick but actually the metal in there is tiny the lock is not bad and they sell these at places like Halpers, and it's designed to go on your motorbike or bicycle. I mean, that sort of thing we could pull out of a cracker. So where you buy it. Now, the one padlock that I would recommend is missing from this shackle. Uh, although with this one, I'm sure if we attempt it again, I could cut through it, and I might give it a little go. But the lock fails you because of the comb pick element. But this padlock shackle is missing its padlock. Now, I am now an approved supplier of this company, uh, their padlocks, their locks, and associated hardware, and I was unable to cut through this. There is another video online where I did try to cut through it, and there are markings here and here. 
but I just couldn't do it. It's a very hard shackle, you can't drill them, they have 20 anti-drill pins in them, they have a molybdenum core, and if you haven't guessed who it is yet, please do contact me. Uh, leave questions and queries in the comments and I will tell you who they are and I will send you prices of the padlocks that I do. Because they do have various sizes, different lock calls, and can be suited to your front door as well as a padlock or a padlock as well as the front door, depending on which combination you do it in. They can also be suited to pairs or series of keys and as I say, I am now officially an approved supplier, so please contact me, ask who they are, and I'll send you some prices. But these are the only ones I would recommend. I sell them to all my customers. I think they're fantastic padlocks, they're really great, but I'm not doing a public marketing thing for them. Uh, until they ask me nicely or give me free stuff. So, you want to know who the winner is? That's the one. As you can see, the rest are rubbish, but... This is the only other one I struggled to cut through, surprisingly, and I might give it another little go. But as I say, you can see by the end, it's a comb, comb pick job. It's a warded uh, lock inside the uh, shell, and it is very cheap manufactured. The fact that I can't cut through it is irrelevant, because as I say, you must go and have a look at the video and see me picking it with a comb pick to see how easy it can be picked. And there we are, I'm not gonna be beaten. So there it is, you can even cut through that one if you can't pick it in four seconds. So, this is the winner. You wanna know the padlock, let me know, and uh, I'll send you prices. But beyond that, padlocks. Absolute rubbish, unless you get ones that you simply cannot cut the core of. I cannot cut these. I cannot drill them, I can pick them if you need me to, but beyond that, this is just showing you how every and any padlock on the planet is an absolute waste of money, unless you're getting the good stuff. So there we are, don't rely on padlocks, they're not worth the paper they're printed on, and you are just going to get robbed, robbed blind. Anyway, that's it, I need to lay down for the rest of the day, but if you'd like to know the winner, do contact me and this I will reveal is the only padlock that I would recommend to anybody and I would recommend that to everybody. I hope you've had fun watching me struggle uh, but just to highlight padlocks they are not a security threat these days. Uh, the only alternative from these of course is getting one of those new shackle locks that now retail at £250 and you cannot cut through them with an angle grinder which seems the latest craze. But I'm not going to advertise uh, shackle locks at 250 quid. They first came out, they were 125. I was going to buy a few up and sell them for a little bit more. But unfortunately, the company has whacked up the prices and now they are overpriced for everybody. What teenager's going to go out and spend 250 quid in a shackle lock? Because you put that on your bike, somebody's going to cut through the wheel and think, well, I'll steal the, I'll steal the two grand graphite sort of carbon bike and I'll just replace the wheel. So there we are. I hope this was fun to watch. I hope this is interesting. And if you're interested, let me know. Bye for now.